So there's some things that were said in the group I didn't really like. But so this is my theory. Everything I do, I record. So I'm making a documentary. Big fucking deal. Okay. I don't feel good today, but I'm going to tell you what happened. If your husband is fucking talking to a girl, kick his ass. If he's not making enough money, got to figure something new out. Three, you want to vent? Vent a fucking way. Talk about everything. I swear to God, if his ass stinks, talk about it. If your vagina's falling off, you can talk about it. But my parents said something a long, long time ago. Even my grandparents. We don't talk about politics, religion, or sex. Meaning, if I'm gay, I come and go, you know, nobody else has We talk about it. If um, sex meaning, God, we're just not, you know, just getting sexy time. Talk about it. But when you start crossing fucking weird lines, I'm out. I'm out. I get gut instinct stuff. I don't know if you guys are intuitive, but I'm intuitive. I, you may call me a bitch. You can call me anything you fucking want. I've been called it. But I'm pissed off right now. Um, we put up with so much shit, it's fucking remarkable compared to regular women. Um, we have kids' issues. We have stepchildren. We have ex-wives, ex-girlfriends. We're girlfriends. Whatever the fuck we are, we deal with it. But when you act like somebody's like not saying something because maybe you're afraid you're going to piss that person off or you're doing walking in line. But if I'm venting and I'm fucking having a nervous breakdown, the last thing you're going to do is tell me, I really think you should stop being a bitch. No. I want to address one issue that I've seen running rampant. I have a friend who knows my trucker husband in the group, so therefore I can't talk about it. You know what? Then don't fucking be there with her. Because if you can't trust your goddamn friend, and she's going to run off and tell your fucking husband, what the fuck are you doing in the group? You know? I mean, we talk about everything. We talk about if they're even a little snippety with us. We talk about... That's what this group is. But if you have a homie in the group... And he and she rats you out to a fucking, your truck driver. She's not your goddamn friend. She's a douche. God, it makes me mad. Yes, we put up with a lot of shit. Yes, we have bad friendships. We have bad relationships. Life is bad. Politics are bad. Sex is bad. Everything's fucking bad. But the last thing we want to do is have a fucking shitty friend in the group. Come on. Like, I'll use, for example, I'll just use names. Susie knows my husband. She's in the trucker wives group. Susie's my friend, or his friend. First of all, what is Timmy doing with a friend that's a female? He doesn't need a female friend. He needs a man friend. Two, Timmy's never asked to be in the group. You know why? Because it's my place, not his. Um... Billy Bob, Susie Q, um, loves you and knows you, and she's in the group, and she's supportive of you, and you've clearly set a boundary and said, sister, don't be telling my husband shit that I said to you. And she's like, cool. And then you're running together like road dogs. That's one thing. But another thing is to be in the group with a friend that you can't trust who goes to your husband and rats you out. Deuces. Two. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. So, you know, I know women in the group. We talk all the fucking time. But if they went to Timmy, okay, unless I said I was going to kill myself. I could see her going, Timmy, you might want to call your wife. But, I mean, I'm talking about little shit. And then you're afraid to be in the group because she's there? It's fucking weird. Okay, and this other mumbo jumbo that went down? No. No, 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 no. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I'm an activist. There's things I believe in, and I do not cram it down your throat. But if I make a vegan meal, I post that shit. You're not vegan, but you respect me, right? That's what makes our group great. I don't have to support every single freaking thing. 
But it's like some things cross the line. And I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's some things that cross the line. And it's not when you say, you fucking asshole. He just called me and hung up on me. Or, I mean, we talk about so much stuff, it doesn't matter. I'll show you pictures of my garden. You're in my life. You are in my life. Okay? But I don't rat you out to your husband. I don't go look on your regular Facebook, find out his name, and then go tell him what you said. It's not Who cares what he thinks? I don't care what Timmy thinks. It's my girl group. It's my group. He has trucker group. Go play over there. Today, a guy tried to join the group. Somebody kind of, sort of knew him. No. No, 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 no. If that was the case, I'd be on every trucker freaking forum there was. Those guys are crazy out there. Okay, me and Timmy have our issues, but he's not fucking crazy. There's a big difference. Politics, go for it. Do we ever talk about Obama? Do we ever talk about freaking Israel? I am abreast of these issues. Do I discuss them with you? No. But if they kill a baby elephant, I'm going down in the group with that. I just, it's just the way I am. I don't get it. Why would you have a personal friend in the group? Personal, personal, as in you know her, you've seen her, you've maybe hung out, had a beer with her, and go into the group and she rats you out or you rat her out. I'm calling bullshit on that. And I'm making a video to boot and put it on YouTube. Love you. Go eat some more French bread.